here for the introduction of these pick pattern exercises and lessons, uh, I want to use this opportunity to just remind us all of kind of ultimately what we're trying to create here, and that's quality. Uh, the way we sort of uh, really focus in on quality for flat picking is through this concept called I call flat picking flow. And uh, we really want to flow. We really want to feel like we are traveling through the songs that we play with quality. It's not just about one note. It's about a string of notes. It's about a stream. It's about experiencing rhythm. It's about experiencing one good note after the other. It's about experiencing the sort of overarching expressiveness and, and musicality. And so here, again, as an introduction to these, to these exercises, because they're going to challenge that sense of flow, I want to at least know that we have a way to really connect with that flow, no matter where you are in your playing. I, I recommend this for advanced players and, and beginners as well. And it's just, it's a simplistic drill uh, as an introduction to these kind of challenges and these pick pattern exercises to just create a stream of notes. And so I'll, uh, I'll demonstrate this at first. We'll have a metronome here at 80 beats a minute. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play it and then I'll, I'll demonstrate what's going on here. So here's a metronome at 80 beats a minute. So I'll count us in. One, two, ready, play. So what's going on here is I'm engaging in this eighth note stream. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And the basic pick pattern, the movement pattern, is down, up, 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 down, up. That's right. I want to stop the metronome. Just kind of examine a few things here. So anytime there's a number note, there's a downstroke. Anytime there's an and, there's an upstroke. And so the point here is that it's really pick patterns, pick direction. A lot of folks sort of debate about, you know, how to use the pick and flat picking. And what I'm really trying to uh, create here, again, in this idea of flow, of flowing and connecting with rhythm all the way through the piece that we play from the first note to the last note, is the fact that I am just never changing from that basic motion. All right, so that's the first kind of key component is, is rhythm. And, and for our discussion here, rhythm means being aware that you are consistently flowing in motion, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up with the metronome. Again, I chose 80 beats a minute, my recommendation for Anyone is to find a tempo that feels manageable. Again, defining success here is not about fast or slow, it's about quality. And quality is whatever feels the most manageable for the longest amount of time. Uh, and for that matter, I, I encourage folks to do this 30 seconds up to a minute even. And so that's connecting with rhythm. As far as tone, rhythm and tone work together. The note quality is really dependent on our ability to settle. Settle physically, because as it's rhythmically settled, it creates a consistent length of note. Uh, if I really slow that down, one and two and three and four and, those notes have length. They're not short notes, right? So that, that's success for, for just the note quality. As far as uh, the resonance of the note and sort of the general quality of the sound has a lot to do with tension. So again, as we're more settled in rhythm, we're going to hear the guitar or feel the guitar resonate. We're going to hear that warm woodiness of, of, these, of these guitars that we really that we, we really desire. If tension's in the way, you're going to hear more notes like this. Right? Shorter notes. And kind of a, 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 a sharp sort of mid-rangey staccato kind of sound. Uh, that's, you know, again, not in the interest of the kind of quality that this, this shows us. So long flowing notes. And again, musicality. Uh, the third part of flow is, is some effort that we are making to communicate the music that we're making. And even at this level, uh, we can communicate through dynamics, all right? So I choose a note. And again, musicality being expressive is about choice. It's about saying, you know, I feel this about the piece of music that I'm playing, and I want a listener to feel this as well. Again, with this simplistic drill, starting with dynamics, we'll choose a note for emphasis. If it's one and three, it's... Two and four. One, two, three, four. But that gives the whole line shape. And again, that stands in contrast to what is sort of a flat, sort of over even line. And even that in and of itself, there's, there's elements of quality there. There's long notes and there's rhythmic uh, connection and, and consistency there. But 
the, the dynamics give that line more dimension. That make, it essentially makes it mean more. Again, that's what being expressive is about, is making something mean something more to a listener. So all three of those things working together as we prepare for everything else we're going to do with our flat picking. Kind of starts with this fundamental drill of just, again, with one note, you know, but again, defining success is the quality of each one of those notes, how they connect, how our movement settles into that rhythm for as long as we need it, how we feel that we are consistently communicating dynamics uh, and something, anything that's important to us. You can take those dynamics and kind of play around with what notes emphasized. It doesn't always have to be one or three or two and four. Ultimately, what I like to say about dynamics and important notes is that it really does respond uh, to, the, to the melodies that we are playing. When we listen, we're, we're aware of what notes in a melody are important. Those are the ones that we uh, can start applying those dynamics to. And again, give, give the melodies that we play uh, all those elements of, of dimension and shape and, and depth. So anyway, this basic single note drill uh, as an introduction to these pick pattern lessons, and, and again, ultimately to the, to the rest of the work that, that we're gonna do here on the site, starts with really experiencing flow, meaning we're experiencing the utmost quality here at this fundamental level, it, kind of down in the engine room here of our playing. And we want to know that, that we can achieve this. So, so try this out. Again, find a tempo that feels manageable. Success is not about fast or slow. It's about quality managed for as long as we need it. All right, so do this before you jump into these pick pattern lessons because they're going to challenge it through space, through some string changing. And then as we continue to work through other, other parts of the curriculum, we'll obviously get into the fretting hand and some of the other, other more components about actually playing uh, uh, melodies in this guitar style. So try that out and then uh, jump, jump forward into these exercises and I think that you will, you'll find how um, being able to connect with this, quali this level of quality for as long as you need to will really help the quality that you're looking for in everything else that you do. Mm -hmm.